Hey, what is going on guys? In this video today, we're going to be going over how to be successful with the charged shotgun in Fortnite. Like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, calling the charged shotgun a controversial weapon would honestly be an understatement. It seems like people either love it or hate it, and there's really no middle ground whatsoever. Now in the first 24 to 48 hours of the season, I was one of the people that thought the charged shotty was absolutely useless but I've actually started to change my opinion recently. And the main reason for that is because Surian pros are starting to become very good with the charged shotgun. Some players are starting to showcase how deadly the weapon can be if you really know how to use it. I'd kind of compare it to like the building mechanic when Fortnite was still a brand new game. For the first few weeks or so, nobody really used building because they weren't sure how to. But then guys like Ninja and Myth started showcasing the power of it, and from there, I guess you can say the rest is history. I'm definitely not saying the charged shotgun is as game-changing as building was, but it's a weapon that has this new charge mechanic that Fortnite's never had before, so it makes sense that it may take a while before players really know how to use it. So without further ado, let's get right into some tips. Alright, so hands down the most important tip I can give you for being successful with the charged shotgun is to abuse right hand peaks when using it. Due to the way the weapon's charge mechanic works, no matter how fast you tap and release your trigger to fire, there's always going to be a very noticeable delay. That's probably the number one thing that people hate about the weapon because they're so used to the pump and tack where you press RT slash R2 and then it obviously shoots instantly. So the biggest mistake that players make when using this weapon is exposing themselves before they're charged and ready to fire. Let's say you're right hand peeking around a wall and waiting for an enemy to round the corner. You don't want to pop out and then press the fire button. That's obviously what you do with a pump or tack, but again, the charge is totally different. Due to the delay, you're basically going to expose yourself wide out in the open for a solid half second while the weapon fires. Instead, you want to hold the charge button for a split second while still behind cover, then you pop out and release the trigger. When you do that, not only are you spending considerably less time out in the open where the enemy can shoot you, but you're also much more likely to be accurate since you don't have to time the delay. The reason why you only want to hold the charge for a split second in that situation is that you don't want your enemy to know you have a charged shotgun. The sound it makes when it gets to max charge is so distinct and loud that it totally gives away your position. But if you only charge it for a bit, you still get really good damage and you can make much quicker and more sneaky plays. Another situation where charging while right hand peeking is super important is when you're making an edit play on someone. Let's say you take their wall and you want to go for the all reliable middle window edit. If you leave your body exposed while making that edit, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. The pullout time after editing for the charge is really slow, and again, you still have to worry about the actual charge time, so it honestly takes about a full second for you to go from confirming the edit to actually being able to shoot. So if you're just standing in the middle of the edit like most people do, you're going to be a really easy target for your enemy to hit. So instead, what you want to do is position your body in a way that you can right hand peek the opening you made in the wall, charge your shotgun for a split second like we talked about, then pop up and fire. Another major mistake that prevents players from being successful with the charged shotgun is not utilizing its range. I feel like a lot of people look at the charge and basically think, well, it does a lot of damage per shot and it shoots really slow, I guess it's pretty much the pump. So then they run around with it and use it the exact same way. Now obviously that's not the worst thing in the world because those two shotguns do undeniably have some important similarities, but the range of the weapons is a massive difference. With the super nerf pumps that we've used for the last 8 plus months, you basically had to be at pretty much point blank range to deal any kind of considerable damage. Maybe you could get away with taking a few steps back if it were a purple or gold pump, but definitely not with the blue or under ones. The charged shotgun on the other hand is a whole different story. 
I'd honestly say its range is more similar to the combat shotgun than it is to the pump or even the tack. Even with the low rarity charges, you can consistently hit for 100 plus damage at roughly 10 meters away if you can get it anywhere near full charge. And here's why that range is so important in this current meta. SMGs are absolutely dominating the game right now and have been for the last 4-5 to five months or so. If you let an enemy get close enough to your body to where they can barrel stuff you with a P90 or regular SMG, it's over for you. So one of the biggest advantages of the charged shotgun that people don't abuse enough is that you can deal considerable damage at a range where you're much less susceptible to being melted by an SMG. That's why I really believe it's more similar to the combat than the pump. With the pump, you want to get pretty much right in your enemy's face, hit a shot, then either build or quick switch to your SMG to finish them off. With the charge though, ideally you start the fight at around 5 to 10 meters away, hit an initial high damage shot, and then when the enemy tries to back up and heal, you start pushing and spraying them with your SMG to clean up the kill. Another important skill that you need to master to be successful with the charge is building walls immediately after shooting. As I sort of alluded to earlier in this video, hands down the biggest weakness of this weapon is how much time you're forced to wait between each shot. When you consider the potential charge time, the time between shots is even longer than it was with the pump. Good players know that when they hear you shoot a charge shot, they have a solid second or so to make a play before you have any chance to fire back. So because of that, it's super important that you get into the habit of building after each shot as a way to deny your enemy from doing damage. Here's a great clip from Unknown Army that highlights multiple things that I've talked about so far. He takes a shot from a very safe distance away, yet because of the charge's range it's still over 100 damage, then he builds immediately after shooting to protect himself, and finally he rushes the enemy with his SMG to try to go out and get the cleanup. Pretty much a textbook example right there of how to use that weapon to its fullest potential. Another important tip for using the charged shotgun is that you need to get good at predicting what your enemy is going to do in close range fights. With the pump tack or really any other shotgun for that matter, you can play a very reactionary playstyle and still be super successful. If a guy edits through your wall and you aren't really predicting it, as long as you have a solid reaction time, it isn't a huge deal. But with the charge, that isn't the case at all. If you get caught off guard and an enemy sort of surprise pushes you, most of the time you simply won't be able to shoot fast enough because of the charge mechanic. So I know you guys have probably seen some of the funny clips where the player just stares at an enemy behind a wall with their shoddy at full charge waiting for them to make an edit, and obviously that's not how you want to play in most situations because good players will know how to counter it, but in some regards that mindset is actually correct. You're going to have to learn how to predict edits and various other plays that players make in certain situations. If you can do that, the charge is great because you'll have a high damage shot waiting for them, and if you can't, you're probably going to struggle with the weapon a lot. The final thing I want to emphasize in this video is so important even though it sounds so simple. You need to practice using the charged shotgun if you want to be good with it. I truly believe that the charged shotgun is the most unique meta weapon ever added to Fortnite. It totally changes the way you aim because it's the only weapon ever that shoots when you release the trigger instead of when you press it. Now unfortunately the charge hasn't been added to creative mode yet, at least not at the time I'm making this video, but luckily there's two workarounds. The first is to just load into Battle Lab, loot chests like normal until you get a charged shotgun, and then just throw the robot grenades and practice your aim by shooting at them. They give off aim assist, so it isn't the worst practice in the world, especially if you're on controller, but it can get boring fairly quickly. The other more popular method if you have a friend is to go into creative fill, yes it has to be creative fill, it doesn't work otherwise, and then load up BHE's 1v1 map. There's a bunch of chests near the ramp, and as long as you open all of them, you're practically guaranteed two charged shotguns that you guys can 1v1 with. So I know it's a pretty bootleg method that you hopefully won't have to do for very long, but for now it's really the only option to use this weapon in a controlled environment. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you watched the entire thing, be sure to let me know with a comment down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on the charged shotgun so far, and do you prefer to use it over the tack? Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do whatever the heck you want, and I will catch you guys next time.